hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about switch case in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely so let's get started in power automate desktop we have a section which is named as message boxes and from here i can use display input dialog which means it will accept it will give you an option to choose the to pass the input to your flow okay so in this case what i'm saying is i will use i will say that please enter a value okay and input type i'm saying okay just single line okay and then i will click on save inside the conditionals I have switch case okay and then I will use the switch and here I can specify the you know condition to check so let's say if I enter 5 okay and then click on save and here what I want to do is so let's say uh, I will choose the user input from this variable I do not want to give hard-coded value so I will just choose the user input and then I will click on save okay and from here I'll I will choose the case okay and in the case I can specify that it has let's say two this is my first case and this is my another case so I specified let's say 3 right and the another case is let's say 4 so these are my three cases okay and in the switch case I can specify the default case as well so let's say if these conditions do not match then it will directly come to the default case okay now what do I want to do let's say I want to display the message so if it is 2 then it will choose the user input it will display it in the user input and I can just select this action and press ctrl C so it will copy that action I will just highlight this case 4 so that it pastes the copied action in the three case and same thing I will do for case 4 and here I will again do the control V to paste this action here I can specify that specified options did not match here I can choose the you know keep the message box always on top I can say always you know close message box automatically you can specify the timeout so it's it will close automatically after three seconds I will click on save now let me run this bot so I'm giving let's say 3 so now let's say what happens it will come to this 3 case and it will display the 3 as you can see so this is done and then again I will run this bot and in this case I will give 6 and you can see here that I have not specified any case for the value 6 I will click on save I will click on ok you can see that it says specified options did not match and you, you also saw that it, this message box closed automatically after 3 seconds right so this this is how you can use switch case action in power automate desktop it is recommended that if you are going to use more than three 
odd three if conditions in that case instead of using the if action you should use switch case okay so that is the best practice in power automate so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day